Hello and welcome back to another Computer Sluggish tutorial. Before we get started, have you subscribed to my YouTube channel yet? If not, be sure to click on the big red subscribe button on my main page. And once you have done this, don't forget to click on that bell to be the first to get notified when I upload a new video. In today's video, I will be showing you how to fix that Ethernet doesn't have a valid IP configuration in Windows 10. To start off with, all you need to do is go down to the bottom right hand corner of your screen and right click on the network icon and click on open network and internet settings. If you don't have a network icon down in the bottom right hand corner of your screen, you can go down to the bottom left hand corner of your screen and just type in network and you can open up network status and it will open up the same screen. Once you are on this screen, you now need to click on change adapter options and you now need to right click on your network adapter and go to properties. Once you're on properties, you now need to click on internet protocol version 4 and click on properties again. And you now need to make sure you have obtained an IP address automatically selected and obtained DNS server address automatically selected and press OK and close. You now need to right click on your network adapter and go disable. Once you have disabled the network adapter, you now need to right click again and go enable. And you can now see if this works. If you are still having the same problem, don't worry because the next thing we need to do is go down to the bottom left hand corner of our screen and type in power. You now need to open up power and sleep settings. And you now need to click on additional power settings. You now need to click on choose what power button does. And you need to click on change settings that are currently unavailable. And we need to turn off the fast startup option and press save changes. You now need to close down this window and close down this window as well. And as you can see, my network adapter still hasn't found an IP address or anything, so it's still not working. You now need to turn off your computer. And once you have turned off your computer, unfortunately, you need to turn off your router as well. And also any hubs or anything else that your computer is connected to. I'm now going to go ahead and do that. And there you go. As you can see, it's still got an error. Once you have turned everything off for about 30 seconds, you can then turn everything back on. And fingers crossed, you will now have internet access. And as you can see, I now have internet access again, which means it worked for me. But if you still don't, do not panic because there's still two more things we can try. The next thing, you do need to have admin rights. You now need to go down to the bottom left hand corner of your screen and type in CMD. And you need to right click on command prompt and go run as administrator. You now need to type in three commands. These commands are in the description below. The first command is ipconfig space forward slash flush DNS. And you need to hit enter. Once you've done that one, you now need to type in net sh space int space ip space reset and enter again. And you now need to type in net sh space windsock space reset and enter. Once you've done this, you now need to restart your computer again, which I'm going to go ahead and do now. Once you have restarted your computer, if you still don't have internet access, then the next thing to do is go down to the bottom left hand corner of your screen and type in device. And you now need to open up device manager. Once device manager is open, you now need to open up the network adapters just by expanding it on this little arrow here. And you need to right click on your network adapter. And the first thing we can actually try is clicking on update driver. And with a bit of luck, it might find some newer drivers for your network card. But if it doesn't, you can always go on Google and just type in your network card. And there might be some new network drivers available on Google on the manufacturer's website. As you can see, I have the latest drivers. So that's all good. 
I can now press close and the final step is to right click on your network card and go uninstall device. You may need to have access to the internet from another computer to download the drivers for your network card or Windows will automatically detect your network card. But unfortunately that is the final step to get everything working again. I hope this tutorial has helped. If it has, hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials.